Welcome to the second Survival Horror Classics Let's Play on this channel. We finished Silent Hill and according to your votes, the next game in the series is going to be... Parasite Eve on the PlayStation 1. It was developed and published by Squaresoft in 1998 and it is basically the sequel to the novel Parasite Eve written by Hideaki Sena. Parasite Eve was Squaresoft's first mature rated game and the first major American and Japanese game development collaboration for the company. The game's director Takashi Tokita described the game's style as cinematic RPG, with its look and feel strongly alluding to an interactive, movie-like experience. Parasite Eve was well received by both critics and audiences and was praised for its high production values and intriguing storyline. The game's blend of action, horror and traditional RPG elements made it a unique and memorable experience for many players. I have personally never played this game, but I remember the second installation fondly. And according to some people, the first part is supposed to be even better. As usual, we play these games on original hard and software, which has the bonus that we can use the original manuals if we need any help. So how about we finally take this game disc for a spin and I mean quite literally, and for that purpose, we have to jump right in. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Winky face. We are playing as Aya Bria, age 25, New York police officer. And we are going to keep the original name. I don't know, I just... You're right. I'll try to have more fun. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I've even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. So, lighten up. We're gonna have a great time, you'll see. Gonna have a great time indeed. I won. <laughs> Father, please give me permission to marry Eva. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. 
those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after these deaths. She's evil. Guard, grab her. And burn her at the stake. Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. Beautiful. Exclamation mark. Double exclamation mark. Jesus, I don't want to... Oh my God, I... I. Go, get out of here now. <laughs> I guess that song was just too beautiful to not burst out in flames. Freeze! New York Police Department! Huh. You're the one who seems to be fine? No, you're the only one. What? You should be awakening soon. What are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're calling out. Oh wait, we're... and we're in combat. <laughs> What's happening? My body, it's getting hot. Just as I thought. What, what is this? What did you do to me? We're back in combat. So how combat works is you wait until the the action bar is fully charged. And we're pressing X here. And then I think it goes into pause mode where I could probably select other targets or maybe change weapon, I don't know. It's sort of a mix of... Uh, real-time and turn-based. I'm actually thinking this gun here has a very short range. It does six damage when I'm really close. And when I'm here, 
I didn't pay attention. Our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating what? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you will become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Yves. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves? <laughs> I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? Well, what is this? What, what was that? <laughs> the dialogues. <laughs> Whoosh. Wait, where are you going? I'm not through with you. Wait, is that a box? Medicine. I know she's down there. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Uh, jump down or, or, or forget it. Forget what? Should we go, let's go and check on the backup. Let's see what happens. So, wait, why do I come from the, the right curtain now? So this is uh, the the overlay that we're going to use. Back then, obviously, these games had like a more square aspect ratio. And today's flat screen, I mean, to, to compare to today's widescreen ratio, it's just like, we just look like this. This is what we're going to use for cutscenes. It is the cutscene scene. Copyright me. And uh, I figured this might just be more interesting where we have top camera, we have the controller or table camera here, and we got the game cover below. So you never forget what we're playing. Or let's see if something uh, changed here. Ah. Wait, I'm a cop. I'm with the NYPD. What? Hold on, I'm going to take out my badge. Don't shoot. Uh, oh, we're good. I wonder if that thing, uh, if it's that thing called um, spon spontaneous combustion? Who knows, huh? <laughs> you think we'll be on TV? Hope this becomes a TV movie or something. Let me patch you up. Oh, we're getting healing here. Nice. This guy. Hey, why don't you have any injuries? Don't ask me. That's something I want to know. Everyone's gotten burned. A lot of them probably won't make it. I guess I'm special. Hey, I've got the same gun. <laughs> I've got bullets for that if you want. I do want bullets indeed. I do want to... Oh. Wait, we can repeat this? We already found the first glitch. We're going to be here for... No, we're not going to be here for a while. It's... I guess he has a limited amount of uh, bullets that he can give us. All right, let's head back. So that was worth it that we went to check the entrance, huh? And I think the, the dialogues are hilarious. Very different compared to today's dialogues where they take like uh, experts and professionals in 
in everything and back then you just you would translate it more or less and then it would somehow come across as a little bit funny wait there's nothing here how dare they put no wait we can can we sprint i looked at the controls before and i think i saw a sprint button it must be circle but she's not sprinting all right time for the leap of faith crisscross make you jump jump They'll make you jump indeed are you are you alone it's dangerous here you should go girl it couldn't be she's a ghost girl hot diggity dog we have a ghost dog here it's called the ghostbusters <laughs> it's locked okay and that one is locked this one, I don't know how to go through this door. It's kind of hard to see on which level the door is. From this perspective. Oh. this circle i mean triangle brings us in the menu club melee weapon oh this is the inventory okay obviously yeah inventory pe is heal well, i guess that's like uh pe for parasite eve parasite eve powers we got a club as well should we try to club on the rat uh-oh I lost all my action points. What the hell? Excuse me. Ah, I missed. Oh no. Suck. <laughs> so this is an interesting type of combat. I think when I played uh, Parasite Eve 2, which uh, I never played this one, I played the second one. And it seems like it's pretty much the same game. I think it also starts in a theater with a the lady singing and everyone burning. Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What is going on here? <laughs> and it's, it's an, I, I think I had to get used to the type of, uh, shh. Oh, here, take it. Take everything. It's all on the counter. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya! <laughs> Uh-oh. Somebody got a little bit murdered. Let's search the room first. We gotta have our priorities. And our priorities in survival horror games are loot. Loot, loot, and more loot. 
We're enacting the No Loot Left Behind Act. We should have a ton of ammo by now. Let's just uh, check how much ammo we have. Ammo crate, 72. Nice. I do appreciate me 72 bullets. Let's check what happened to the clown. <laughs> he got burned to a crisp. It's, it's that clown from the dressing room. He got burned to a crisp. It looked like he got skinned alive. Uh, okay, we've been in here. Let's check this room. More corpses. And more lockers. Oh, oh. Oh! You're still alive. Hold on, let me call the par... <laughs> let me call the paramedics. I'm sure they can fix third-degree burns all over your body. M Melissa! She's a monster. Don't try to talk now, Melissa. Melissa, you mean the main actress. She's probably got Suzanne, too. You'll have to stop her. No, please. Wake up. <laughs> Hang in there. I have the suspicion that she's not going to wake up. You know, because she isn't sleeping. <laughs> you know. There's no waking up from where she's going. And it's probably better for her. Let's face it. Alright, we got a couple more door ahead of us. I mean door ahead of us. Locked again. Everything's locked. Oh! God damn it. No, I... I walk too close to the door. That means you leave automatically. It's like in real life. If I walk too close to the room door, I just go out on my own. Can we search this guy? What's this key? Ah. Got a theater key. What is this? Glowing light here. It looks like a phone. Mm. I better notify the department about what happened here. Will you save your progress? No! <laughs> I'll just not save. Do not insert, uh, yeah. Memory card and boom. On, 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 on and on. Level one, HP 45, 19 minutes in. Wait, is this a hidden chest here? Medicine. Nice. Hot, hot! Help, help! It's getting hot in here. I'm dropping all my clothes. Oh, wait, this parrot must have heard somebody scream and now it's, uh, it's parroting it. Okay. Alright, I guess we're good. We got a key. Uh, we got a theater key, so... Maybe it's for this door here? Maybe it isn't. <laughs> uh, now I can't remember which doors we've been through. Not this one, apparently. Pretty sure this... This has to be readable. 
A diary? November 3, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I look at all that medication to get here. Oh no, I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to, which is always a very smart idea. November 17th. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21. I think I'm overdoing it. My body's getting hotter than ever for some reason. I better take some... I'd better take more medicine. December 6th. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. <laughs> I don't care if I die. I just want to get through the show. December 10th. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I better take a lot of medication tonight. December 11th. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. December 17th. It looks like I'll be the lead. I'd better take more medication and work it. Mm -mm -mm. You gotta work it if you got it. December 23rd. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert. The next day at the park. But I'm not feeling well. I better shape up if I want to get through this. I better take more medication. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key? The rehearse key. We got the rehearse key. Now we can go rehearse. We can go rehorse. Why is there a ammo in the wardrobe? <laughs> in the wardrobe. <laughs> bullets. Lots of bullets. Have we got a, is this the same parrot or is that another one? Oh no, I clicked too fast. Oh shit. Wait, excuse me. Uh. Oh. Oh, this is nice that you can, um. The music is a little bit loud. This is nice that you can one-shot them with the club. But I'm starting to fear that we have a limited inventory. We're probably gonna run into some uh, space problems. And I'm not talking about the final frontier. Coming to think of it, I wonder where she stuffs all the things that she finds. Maybe under her gown. Maybe it's really spacious under there. Who knows? Oh, we've already been here. Okay, oh, these are the two rooms that we already searched. All right, this one and the right one. And then we got uh, three more rooms on this side. We got this one here. So this is like Silent Hill. I mean, like, uh, oh no. Oh no. I mean, like Final Fantasy. I only played Final Fantasy VII and in that game, enemies would spawn all the time. I mean, you would look like get those. Uh... Ow, excuse me. Mm. 
level up level three so what i mean is you, you wouldn't see the enemies you would just walk around and then suddenly you get you would get an encounter it's the same mechanic here it's very different than resident evil for instance and i think pretty much all the other survival horror games wait there's another chest here the combat is also a little bit different no no i don't want to drop anything oh you can put things into the chest and then never come back is it no this is not like a this is not like a resident evil item box right if i put something in there then it's going to be lost because i don't think we're always going to be able to come back to this place here a bird the cage let's play the harp for two and a half hours this has to open, right? No? Oh, there's another chest here. Your inventory is full. What is my inventory? Oh, everything here is my inventory. I got a ton of medicine. Uh, how is my health doing? We could use we could use a medicine. There we go. Back to 53 health. This is very JRPG-y. Wait, what did I find? Defense. Increase defense power by one. Is this like an armor upgrade? Um, I'm not sure if I want to use it now. Maybe I want to put it on another armor. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to use it for now. I'm just going to keep it in the inventory. So we have everything stuffed with upgrades. We don't use them and we can pick up anything else. It's my strategy. That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. And crumble it did. Your inventory is full. Okay, let's replace the medicine. Wait, did I find a better armor? And protector? Uh, what is the thing on the left? energy we get more energy we get more defense and more critical i guess defense <laughs> excuse you uh wait i confused myself with the echo i'm wearing okay i'm wearing the better armor now okay Yeah, I played the original Parasite Eve 2, like, I think I played 3, don't, no, I think I might have played 3 twice. But, like, decades ago. Uh, Theater K, Rehearse, Hearse Key. I think we've been through all the doors, right? Let's go save and then try the double doors if they work. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can get too close to those. You might take damage if you go too close to those rats. But I think you have to go pretty close, even with the with the ranged weapons. It's like exactly in real life. If you have a gun, you'll need to be right next to the one you want to shoot. Otherwise, it's just going to automatically miss. It's very realistic. It's almost too realistic. Yellow. Is this the safe game? Oh, yeah. Okay. On, 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 on. Boop, boop, boop. And saved. Game is saved. But we aren't. <laughs> All right, let's see what's behind door number nine. Oh, it's her. Ah, 
I'm Melissa. I'm... No, I'm... I... I am... I am Eve. Ah, I'm... I'm getting hot again. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end. Once and for all. What? <laughs> Once again, the day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. Oh, I'm really glad I saved. Oh no, I still have the nightstick. Oh, oh. No, oh. She's got a double blast now, that's cheating. Switching to the gun. Oh no. Double blast. Oh. So we're doing so much damage from up close, but from far away. We're missing and doing like two damage, one damage. Oh no, she touched me with her filthy hands. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh wait, I need to be careful here. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. What? Where is this? Is that... Is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... That doctor... Wait! Mitochondria to be free. Hot diggity dog. I'm just going to go back and safe now. Because that went a lot better than I thought it would. Let's face it. we got to make it count here. And we might. I think we might need a healing too. Uh, health 25 out of 53. We're going we're gonna to pop a medicine here. What's with the parrots? That's so weird. Drop an item. No, we already searched the box. Uh, save the game here. Just keep calling the police. Why is she calling all the time? I think she's saving the game. <laughs> uh, let's use three saves for this game. Just flipping all the switches to on and the word on. So I'm thinking the little girl is her. Maybe they did some experiments on her when she was a little girl. And she barely remembers them. Jump in or forget it. Forgetty spaghetti. No, we're going to jump in. We just saved. Okay, this is uh, unexpected. Oh, top down. Very cinematic. 
okay, I'm gonna switch back to the the day stick. No, the night stick. The club? It's called club. Okay, in this game it's called club. No! Oh! Why is it called the night stick? Because it's night when it hits you? When it hits you, it's good or night. Oh, shit. Oh, I got him. I need to stop walking into them. So this game loves to go between loud and quiet. Another fight? What the hell? I'm gonna switch to oh yeah we're uh I switch to the to the gun I do not wish to get tongued by this feller but I think we have to get close to actually hit him oh no Oh, there we go. Easy peasy lemon shakuizy. Parasite powers have evolved. Scan. Analyzes enemies' HP and weaknesses. So did we get like a new ability? Parasite heal. Oh, let's use the heal one. Okay. I healed myself. There's a little chest here. Oh! A new pistol! And it does five more damage, nine more range. Okay, it's literally better in, in every aspect. Uh, let's go upstairs first. I like the different camera perspectives. Very cinematic. Wait, there's a chest down there. And there's combat over here. Uh, yeah, we gotta switch to the club. These rats are not a real uh, threat. Suck! <laughs> There you have it. Oh, we made another level. Revive. What is revive? A revive potion where you can revive? How can you drink it when you're dead? Oh, you can't drink it at all. Restores life when you... Oh, it's automatic. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got another chest here. So, am I correct? We got two extra lives now with those with those uh, drinks. I wonder how that works. You got a drink that revives you, but you need to be dead first before you can be revived. So, because you die, and the last thing before you actually die, you just take the sip and then... Oh, and then it revives you. <laughs> you have to drink it while dying. Aya, you're the little girl. Oh, you're the little girl I saw at the theater. Are you lost? Wait, little girl. Don't go. Yeah, she's just fought too fast for us with her little legs. We wouldn't be able to catch up to her. So where are those, uh, those chests we saw back here? Wait, I can't go through this? 
Wait, is this... Are you kidding me? This is all that you see of the chest. Is this the chest even? Oh. And then there's one on the other side, which is hidden behind the stairs. You gotta be kidding me. My inventory is full. Will I replace an item? Wait, I, I have to see if I'm fully healed. So we have to leave something behind anyways. Let us... Uh, oh, shit. The theater key. What if we still need them? The ammo crate. Uh, dressing room key. Let's leave this one behind. I can only leave... Uh, God damn it. Move. I can only leave the medicine behind. Will you replace an item? Medicine one. Offense. Oh, that was worth it. But now we got one healing less. Which is a little bit of an inconvenience. Oh, that's so annoying. Maybe we can come back. Let's see what's behind door number 70. Another fight, of course. Uh oh, uh oh, that's bad. That is not good. Let's switch to the new gun. No! Oh, I got him. Nice. Oh, this gun is awesome. And they got me too. God damn it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Um. Wait, why can't I pick up the medicine now? Uh, we gotta use a medicine. And let's get the one from the box quickly. No loot left behind. Oh, maybe I should have healed myself with my uh, parasite powers, I guess. There's a switch and an emergency phone. Oh, let's use the phone. We can save, maybe. Yes. Yes, yes. And we are level five. Ah, oh, there we go. There we have it. There she is again. Eve. Hold it right there. My body, my body's getting hot again. <laughs> I was ready to take me on just by herself. <laughs> Well, even if you did have more people with you, they'd just burn, right? <laughs> Everyone else but you. You are. Tell me, Eve, why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out eventually. But not if you kill me, though. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've always known. I'm going to give you some time. Some time to think and some time to evolve. And today shall arrive when you will awaken. She's ice skating. Oh, 
Uh oh. They crocodile kill us. Oh man, this is gonna be a boss fight, isn't it? There are two targets. What? I can switch. Oh, I can switch targets. Oh no! Oh! God damn it! I need to stop getting hit. Uh, no. Wait, the other target. There we go. Why is this red? Is it, am I too, is it dark if I'm too far away? Let's dodge this. Maybe if I... Oh, okay. So if it's bright red, it means... I guess it means it we're in, it's in range. Let's make, make this a little bit quieter during combat. Combat music is super loud. Ow, excuse you, sir. That is very rude. Uh-oh, we need healing, like, now. Like, super now. Uh, use healing powers. Okay, that, that did me... That did well. Can you stop shooting me, sir? I'm friendly. <laughs> Just to myself, though, so... I guess it doesn't matter for him. What's happening? I can't move. Wait, is this like stage two? So it's still dark red, which means... Oh, there we go. Now I'm going to hit him. Oh, don't reload. Oh. Wait, maybe I can use Eve powers. And heal myself. Let's save some uh, med kits. Nice, we're like a healer. We're a battle mage. Uh, all right, I don't have to shoot his tail anymore. Excuse me. Don't mind the father. Oh, yes. Parasite Eve powers have evolved. Uh, slow. Slows enemy at recharge. I don't know what that means. We're not... Wait, we got another vest. Cell? Did it just say cell? Dot, dot, dot. When I will awaken, just tell me what you want, Eve. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Okay, I'll stop. Shh. We're live in front of Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of a complete chaos. Miss... You are the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? I. Until now, this combustion theory has been uh, acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please, just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively... <laughs> Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Daniel. Sorry I'm late, eh? Uh... Hey, yeah, you okay? 
There was really something that happened back there. Yes, but... My date... Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. <laughs> uh, sorry, your date didn't go well. <clears throat> it's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all the places, the opera? There's the story. <laughs> so why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing right now? I saw the ad in the paper. I don't know. I just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were onto this case. <laughs> so you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? Instinct? Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this one... This is one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria? Mitochondria? Symbiosis? When was I in the hospital? Hey, Aya, you asleep? Oh well, don't blame you after what you've been through tonight. It all started with this incident, six days that were to become a nightmare for all. <clears throat> People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but... It was also six days filled with familiar memories. You gotta love the PlayStation 3... Uh, PlayStation 1 3D graphics. <laughs> they have a charm like nothing else. Oh, day two. Fusion. Will you save your progress? No. 